I'm recording. <laughs> Real original. And okay, I'm seeing the. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's not the one I wanted. Thank to you. <laughs> oh, Nick reposted us. You did it, Nick. You did it, Nick. <laughs> you did it, Nick. What did he say to it? Are you done yet? I said, hey, Nick, you could start yelling. Stop yelling at us now. And he said, never. Listen. You don't want to yell at us. <laughs> Listen, you're going to lose. Okay, so when you talk, you got to talk into the top of the Oh, mic. sorry. So. You don't want to yell at us. You better, don't yell at us. covering my feet they can't see our feet <laughs> if you saw my feet you see they're peeling because i did that mask oh yeah it's been a shit show we were, you were right I, timing it, timing not why a good did sandals. i choose the summer not a good sandals i'm gonna turn you harley up. and renee saw it oh no and harley goes ew i'm like yep mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah i'm gonna turn us both being up. shamed by a two-year-old well, and there's nothing like being shamed by a toddler. That no. shit hurts. Yeah, it really does. That shit hurts more than it. toddlers are mean. I remember I would used to do um, summer school mm-hmm. for like extra hours or whatever for whatever school. Like, I'm sorry, I also had to go to summer school, but I was working at a summer school. That's where mm-hmm. this is coming from. And um, did I was, you go to summer school by choice? No. Okay. No, I was a whole idiot. I yeah. never did anything. I was like, I had to go because I didn't do well in school. Right. No, I. I yeah. Every. I don't remember. I went a summer. lot. I don't remember a summer I didn't have to go to summer school. I almost looked forward to it. It was basically like a relaxed detention every day. Okay. You know. Yeah, it was like almost, you got to be with all your favorite fun friends. Yeah, you just got credit up. for just showing up. Yeah, yeah. literally. Yeah. Um, and it was always for us. It was always at a different school. Really? Yeah. Well, I was in public school. Did I ever tell you? <laughs> I, so my my journey to get into college was a journey, to say the yes. least. So and math was never my strong point, still is not. And so got to the <laughs> insert. I know all the math. All the math. <laughs> okay, we're going to. Um, so, um, oh my God, cheers. Wait a minute. Oh my God. Oh God. Welcome God. to, oh God. Oh, it's, it's our first. Oh, I look like a, I hate this. It's fine. This is why I'm like, do we really want the side profile? Cheers. Cheers. Yay. Cheers, best friend. Cheers, best friend. Hi, best friend. Hi, best friend. Okay. So, this will do. I'll lean back. I'll lean back. Anyway, as I was saying, um, I can't remember why I needed to do it. It might have been while I was still in high school, but I took a math class online through Brigham Young University. Yes. And afterwards, I got so many pamphlets on becoming a Mormon. (laughs) Oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was the only time I didn't do anything at the school per se. Mm-hmm. Um, but every other time, it was at the school. Where were you? What school? What What grades are we talking about here? All of them. Yeah, same. Yeah. Well, I don't think I did summer school in high school. I did. <laughs> do they have summer school for high schoolers? Yeah. Oh, it's me. I did. It was. <laughs> it's just you it alone. Just... <laughs> and they're not even. You it just was... showed up. It... <laughs> The janitor's like, okay, okay you she can, probably doesn't have like a family. Like, can, let her hang let out. Let her hang out here. Just, she's, she just gets a routine. You can't break it. She brings her own supplies. And she just sits and cries in the corner, <laughs> doing maths. No, <laughs> doing maths. Well, no, mine was elementary school. Mm. Am I not close enough? Yeah, you gotta tilt her, tilt, tilt Ron, Ron. in a little bit. Ron, talk into her ear balls. Don't break it. Okay, there. You, that's better. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, yeah. Is it better? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, so much better. Oh, okay. I good. can hear oh. sweet nothings of your... S- let's start over. <laughs> <laughs> it's a crapshoot, whatever this is going to be about. <laughs> we have a project to do, too. We do. So. But let's get back to summer school. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's favorite subject. <laughs> Tell me your summer school. I genuinely looked forward to it. I don't understand it. Well, you know, I was not good at testing. So, like... I feel like as an in elementary school when like you get to be into like the I don't know how private school was, but for us, you would take like your SATs and your star testing mm. would decide if you get to be in like the smart class. 
Right. They didn't call it that, but we all knew. We all knew. Mm -hmm. And all my friends got to go into this class. And I am such a horrible tester. Like, I just freeze up. And at one point, I just start guessing. Yeah. And I just get through it because I worry I'm going to run out of time. And I just run through it. And then you're the first one done. You're like, well. Yep. I'm turning it in anyway. And oddly, going back. I oddly feel confident. So you it, look, it's all C's. <laughs> the occasion. Oh, it's like, oh, God, I've done too many C's. Got to throw a B in there. I just, because I'm a Libra. So I'm like, I did a little too many A's up here, B's. You know, we need some more D's. And like, I just make it you're look good. You're on a picture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And every year, my mom would brace me and be like, so your, your results came back? And I would just bawl my eyes out. Because I didn't get to go to class with all of like my friends, right? right? Turns out I, the ones that were actually smart mm-hmm. went on to like Cal and like Stanford, like very smart kids, sure. right? But the other ones that I thought were my friends were the ones that were just honestly real life idiots. Sure. Book smart, street stupid. Barely book smart. Okay. Don't know how they got it. They just really guessed. They did a better picture of mm-hmm. the. Or like I have too much of a creative mind of. Well, it could be this, or it could be that, or it could, I could understand that, right? Yeah, I'm I hate it. It's making w- myself feel better. Yeah, <laughs> still, <laughs> fifteen years later, I could have gotten into that class. SATs. I never took the SATs because I knew I was going to the junior college. Oh, this was in elementary school. What were you taking? SATs? Star testing. Oh, star testing. I was yeah. like, what the fuck are you taking an SAT? Star testing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but I ended up. Some of my favorite friends were in the not smart classes i was in right the, so in, <laughs> in middle school mm-hmm. there was this my english and history teacher gate that was the gate was yes yes the smart the kids, same thing yes right didn't get into those nope nope but the teacher that i had taught gate she also oh. taught not so smart kids well uh so when i would tell people people be like what um you know who who's your english history i'd say my teacher's name they're like oh you're in gate and i'm like no and it took me forever to realize she also teaches the idiots and i was in the idiot class (laughs) i got a's in that class i was like wow i belong here (laughs) yeah well oh i got put in an ap english class in freshman year was it fre- no Never in my sophomore life. year AAP of high school been in- oh this was a mistake oh. <laughs> and I'm sitting in class and I'm looking around sophomore year of high school looking around at all of the other it was either sophomore or junior year honestly it might have even been senior year anyway it was definitely junior year mm-hmm. and I'm looking around and I'm looking at all the kids that I've grown up with since elementary school that were in the gate classes right and mm-hmm. I'm like I don't think I'm supposed to be here and then they start talking and they say the class and I'm like, no. Nope. And it was English, AP English. And I'm like, I'm not going to college. Why am I here? So I talked to my counselor. They put me in this class that I'm not joking. It was like out of a movie. Every misfit you can imagine. <laughs> you were living the breakfast. Oh, no. I w- yeah, it was the breakfast yes. club. Yes. I literally was in that class. Oh my and God. the teacher is someone that like used to be a substitute teacher mm-hmm. full time. And they just needed an extra teacher for all these weird kids. And you that, were it. And it was the f- most fun class. Like, Ugh. this teacher would paint butterflies on her head. I'm like, um, borderline, are we um, <laughs> special? Um, <laughs> Shout out to my good friend, David, <laughs> who's now a cop. We were all there. <laughs> okay. It was great. Ugh. I had the best time. We got to do a lot of outdoor activities. <laughs> I'm not joking. Okay. She would let us go do our poetry outside. Okay. It was my favorite class. I it sounds like, like I think it. it was I'm so glad that we I'm not in AP English cuz this is way better. Yeah. yeah. What a de- yeah, that was a good decision to get out of that. You know, the more I'm yeah, thinking about I'm what we did, I'm like on that. <laughs> Why was art involved? <laughs> Was it the only classroom you went into or did you have others or did they just keep you in there? <laughs> no, it was just the one. Oh, okay. Because we had six periods. It was just the one. And you stayed in that one classroom all day? No. Okay. No. That's. <laughs> I meant, sorry, it was just for the one period. Got it. it was just got for it, the one it, class. Got it, got it, got yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Does your mom take you to school? No, they have a bus just for us. <laughs> It's really compact. 
It only fits my English class. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> oh, um, Jesus. I'm going to be honest. When I was in that class at certain times, also looking around at the kids I was in class with that I've grown up with, uh-huh. I'm like, we belong here. You know, I know I'm not AP level, sure. but I don't think I'm here. That's what I did. So in my butterfly class. <laughs> lady she was so oh, sweet the girl that posts on facebook a whole lot <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. her fiance was in my class <laughs> that tracks so <laughs> not but I did, surprised i also but i also was like not smart enough for ap too smart for butterfly oh <laughs> <laughs> but i took the butterfly but i took the butterfly i'll take yeah. the butterfly all day long yeah <laughs> junior and senior year when they said it's time to do your SATs, mm-hmm. I'm like, Mm-mm. no, I'm okay. And then I don't know who it was, but one teacher said, or the counselor said it. I don't remember what. Again, public school, sure. lots of kids. Yep. As a senior, if you didn't take your SATs, you just had a dead week. So I took a fucking dead week. Yeah, I would. And too. we went to the river every. A huge group of us mm-hmm. went to the river all the time. We just partied the whole week while all of our friends idiots who went to college and are probably making a lot of sure, money right now sure, um sure. But, sat, oh, but but some probably don't and are st- probably in a lot of debt and i had a great week uh, yeah, so i'd rather have that yeah i would rather have that i'm like i don't even know if i'm going to the junior college let alone college college and i look at you with the masters <laughs> jokes on everybody else you had a whole week off in high school and here you are with the masters i am so really what it was is um i just needed to not be forced yeah yeah see that's yeah. how I well see even now no one's forcing me to go to school and I you still can't there's not I'm not going back to school to be fair you did your time I did you did your time I did my time you basically got your master's I have a very good job now. you have a very good job <laughs> I'm fine you and were I in even, school for a long time I, <laughs> yeah victory you lost. didn't take I took a 10-year break yeah and then went back Bold. so yeah you know and I had asked my not my boss someone someone in my company i was like just out of sheer curiosity if i were to go get my master's would i get paid more and they said no and i was like fuck it i'm not going to get my master's then will you pay for it no, no i'm not no. even going Mm-mm. no there's Mm-mm. there's just watching mikey go through his master's and everything and just like the shit he had to do and i was just like now sure would it be fun to have a ma- like have that under my belt sure but it literally does nothing for me. No, and they're just handed out like candy now. Yeah, I don't want it. Like you can get one online. Oh, well, I still like don't want anywhere. It. I don't want to do any work for it. I'll just print something out. I'll Photoshop something that says masters. I'll make up a masters. <laughs> I'll put it on my LinkedIn. No one fucking checks. <laughs> no one checks. Wow, don't I know it. So I say that I almost didn't get my job because my degree is technically not in communications. Uh, oh. And I was like, well, here's my rap sheet of everything that I've ever done ever. So they do check. They do check, as it turns out. <laughs> Whoops. But here I am five years later with yeah, my same yeah, job. Yeah. It's, fine. it's fine. I, if, I honestly, because of how I am, like my relationship with school, if I didn't feel this burning fire to like do it to just prove to yourself you can do it so mm. that you can say you've done it. Mm-hmm. And like you never thought you were ever going to go to college, let alone get your master's degree. And I was already on a roll after yeah. getting my bachelor's. I was like, do it for you. Yeah. If I did it for the idea of getting more money or a better job, I don't think I would have enjoyed it. Yeah. No and then I would have put so much unnecessary pressure on myself afterwards yeah. to get like the best job yeah. and have a certain amount of when your, professors, when your professors are like, well, with a master's, you should be making at least this amount. <clears throat> That is so unrealistic. Yeah. Like, and it's so much pressure. And I'm like, that's why I hated school in the first place. Yeah. Right? It was never, since I remember hating it since third grade. Like, it was never anything. I I hated school. Once the maths got involved, (laughs) I'm like, "Mm -mm." two and two together? (laughs) What's this? What's the letters? (laughs) Stop asking for your ex. You're never going to get her back. Okay. (laughs) Leave it alone. I Yeah. I love math. That's actually my favorite subject. <laughs> Fuck. Math and I do love English. 
Math and English are dreadful. Oh, and different. geography. Okay. Love. Well, you just like school. You can't tell me you don't like school if you're like subjects. No, I yeah. love school. I just hate like going being and like forced. being forced to do it. Yeah. It's like when, did I ever tell you about, do uh, you remember current events? Do you remember having to do those? Fuck. Yes. A one page current event uh. once a week in certain classes. Mm -hmm. I had to do them so often in middle school that I just stopped. And when I got to high school, my senior year wasn't until the first time I had to do a current event again. Mm -hmm. And I told my prof, I he wasn't a professor, he's a teacher, I guess. Sure. Right. Mm -hmm. Mr. What, Man. What's the difference? Yeah in my history class mm -hmm. and he said you will have to do a current event once a week and it's going to be 30 percent of your grade oh my god and i thought no i'm good with c so i tell him at the beginning of class i stop by and i say hey i just it's n i don't want to be disrespectful again i'm 17 i'm like who are you yeah and i walk up to this old man and i say i i don't do them mm -hmm. i'm not gonna and it's nothing against you it's not that i don't like the news yeah i just I don't like doing them and I'm not going to do them. Mm -hmm. So I just want to let you know up front, like it's nothing towards you. Yeah. I don't want to be rude about it. He kind of just brushed me off. He's like, well, you, you should really try to do them. And I'm like, yeah, okay. I understand. About three or four weeks pass. Mm -hmm. And he looks at me, he goes, you were serious. I'm yeah. like, yep. I am. Yeah. I got a great grade in the class. Good. So yeah, and see, that's he offered plenty of extra credit. Yeah. So I told in my some one of my summer schools um to get my degree though um i for whatever reason i'm like yeah i can take a elevated biology class in three weeks <laughs> and science week. is not my strong suit no here's the thing i love labs <laughs> me too i love the labs me too i'm so it was three weeks mm -hmm. end of the first week midterm end of the second week another midterm and the third week, final. Let me tell you, that was the longest three weeks of my life. Did you pass? So. <laughs> I need to take a butterfly biology class. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> it was very hard. But so the very, it was like the second day. He's like, I have office hours. I'm like, neat. So mm -hmm. I went there. And I sat down. He was a younger professor, like his very first gig type thing. I sat down. I looked him dead in the eye and I said the same thing. I was like, listen to me. I need this to graduate. <laughs> in fact, I already walked in graduation. Oh, no. It was the it was literally two weeks after I walked yeah. in graduation. And they just handed you a thing that said, you're not done. Um, <laughs> so I said, I need this to graduate. I know what I have done. I know the mistakes that I have made. OK. I am going to bomb every test you hand me the homeworks too probably maybe not so because I, i'm literally gonna fail everything in this class but i will kick ass in every lab you hand me i will get a's in every lab i will get c's at best on the homework i will bomb every test mm -hmm. okay i need you to know i'm trying Aww. i'm trying and he's like okay i don't think i really f passed that class gotta see Okay. I was like, uh huh. Thanks. Yeah. Thank uh -huh. you. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. I heard the whole saying in high school: "D's get degrees." Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have heard that. Nope. Took that seriously. So I personally love um, telling my parents, finding out these stories that I like. Told my teacher I was gonna fail everything, like just things that they find out that I did in college, and I'm like, I, I made it. I'm here. I'm here. I have a job. I have a degree. I have a degree. Yeah. But, and then um, my final class of the summer, because I took three classes that summer. I took the elevated biology class and the first summer semester was geography. I rocked it. <laughs> and then, um, um, oh, I said it was geology. I'm an idiot. But geography I, or geology? Geology. I took oh, geology. that'd be fun. It was fun. I didn't get to take that. I know, but I made the joke wrong. Oh. geology i rocked it there we go um <laughs> i looked at the camera you idiot anyway oh yeah. butterfly and then to be fair there's rocks in geography there are it was but it was definitely geology I mean, it was class. a better geology it joke 100 sure, sure, sure. geology sure, class. Sure, sure. and then my last class was astronomy oh love and it was super fun and yeah. uh yeah. she walked around during the final pointing at the answers that you had wrong and she's like i like c better and oh 
would just give us the answers. So I aced that class. <laughs> That's a great teacher. It was the best. What the hell? Yeah. It was a really fun class, and I, like, learned this a lot. for astronomy? Uh-huh. <sighs> and then my geology teacher was a sweet little old man that loved rocks more than... I bet you has the biggest collection at home. He does. He told us about it. Oh. He takes his grandson out to find more rocks. It's the... It's the <laughs> I remember that man would walk in cargo shorts, um, hiking boots, and a like a t-shirt tucked in. You you can see him. Cute. He's the I cutest. bet the cargo shorts were filled with rocks. Probably. His little pockets. Yeah. That's yeah. what they're for. Absolutely. He's a geologist. Mm -hmm. I loved my astronomy class. Astronomy or astrology? It was astronomy. <laughs> I learned about the weather. Zodiacs. <laughs> God. Right? I, yeah. Astrology. Nope. Astronomy. I took astronomy. Yeah. I took astronomy. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. So I love that. <laughs> I thought it was fabulous. I think space <sighs> is incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this was weather. I don't think you took. I don't know what I took. <laughs> <laughs> Meteorology? Nope. That's me. That's meteorology. Like, in order to become a weather person on the on the news, again, it's 2023. I have no idea what the standards are anymore. I, I watch plenty of weather Be people. pretty and stand in front of a green screen. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure you have to have a degree in meteorology. meteorology. I'll text my friend that was in the class with me. Like, hey. <laughs> She's be like, the one we drew butterflies? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a beautiful little butterfly. <laughs> Jesus. But I took astronomy. I was so fascinated with it. I'm like, I'm learning so much about outer space. Mm -hmm. Like, the Earth is this far away from the sun and this far away from this planet and that. And this. then I find out we're studying for the final in class. Mm -hmm. And he's like, ask me any questions you need to know for the final, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, well, what was the exact number? It's how, you know, how many EUs from the sun? He goes, oh, it's like this-ish. I'm like, what ish yeah because they don't fucking know because no one can go <laughs> past the moon <laughs> like a human being i don't know it's just yeah, give rovers or <laughs> give or take a couple hundred feet <laughs> I'm like, so all of this is made up yeah this is all scientific guessing cool very accurate sure sure mm -hmm. sure mm -hmm. sure sorry <laughs> what are you apologizing to I don't know any astronomers. Science, so, yeah, and scientists. Uh, yeah. I don't want to be rude. Sure, you know I really appreciate them. We're just making fun of butterflies instead. They're. Well, I was going to say they're doing God's work, but I don't think That's so. That's the opposite. <laughs> In my uh, my God, they're sure. doing my God's work. Sure, perfect. <laughs> and then I just after I found out that all of these numbers were, ish, I stopped paying attention. Yeah. No. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. I could have been an astronomer. Astronomer. Yep. You're not going to ask me. I don't fucking know. Because we're doing meteorology over here. <laughs> I think. I think. I have no idea. I learned why the sky was blue. I learned Isn't different. It from a reflection from the ocean? I thought so, but I learned something different, and now I don't remember what, what it is was. it? I don't know. Oh. I'm a butterfly. I'm a butterfly. <laughs> Every time things. You're like, you're so pretty. You're a painted picture of a butterfly. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is comfy. Oh, this is nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, this is better. We can get more pillows. This is like starting. Don't tempt me with a good time. I love me some pillows. Love Let's go pillows. back to Hobby Lobby. I have plenty at the house. Nick oh. would love for me to get rid get of rid some. Of some. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring them over every time we're out. And I'm like, oh, look at this. He goes, no more pillows. I go, I I'm sorry. We're not living in a 300 square foot studio apartment. Yeah. I can have more pillows. It's Thank my you. psych ward, okay? <laughs> pillows or murder? Mm -hmm. You choose. You choose. <laughs> Personally, I'm feeling pillows. <laughs> Seems like a little bit more comfortable situation. I'd love it if I said that and been like, you know what? I don't need the pillow. Going straight to murder. <laughs> stabby, stabby. Stabby, stabby. <laughs> <sighs> well, we were talking about summer school. We were. We were. <laughs> So it was elementary school, and the public school in the town I grew up in had almost a different elementary school per section mm -hmm. of the town. And sometimes there was not enough staff and way too Shocking. many kids. And so, like, for instance, I went to a certain elementary school, but when I had to go to summer school, uh, because there weren't enough 
yeah, dumb kids. I've heard of this happening. So they would just pile all of us mm-hmm. in the city into yep. one school. Yeah. So that they would have a full classroom. Sure. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. I've heard of this happening. So I got to enjoy a couple different I elementary you just schools. dropped off somewhere random every day. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What school? Like, how's it going? I love it. It's great. Where were you today? They don't call my name, mm-hmm. but... Um, uh, it's true. <laughs> I have no idea who you are. Actually, it's funny that you, because now I remember there were some kids in my classes. Because I, I don't know if my school was like the bigger of everything. I don't know. But it was always Probably. at my school. And there would be kids from other mm-hmm. other ones. Yeah. So. We were talking about how mean toddlers are. Mm. That's how it started. Because mm. I had a five-year-old tell me my breast stank. And I was like. When? When I was teaching summer school. <laughs> Is that how summer school got brought up? (laughs) (laughs) Yep. That's it. Good, good. Yep. They let you teach summer school? I was a student aide. Again. They they sure did. How old were you? In high school because I needed service hours. Oh, okay. Yeah. How old were the kids? Kindergarten. Oh, that's fine. They're not learning shit. No, they don't even know math. No. And I was teaching math. (laughs) I'm not good at it. (laughs) so he's like this is my right hand you're like that's your left it was his right right hand (laughs) a bitty little butterfly (laughs) this was a titan media collector production 